This is the QQH triple monitor setup for, well, meant for portable computers. And uh, this was sent to me for the purpose of making videos and I have been using them for about two weeks now. So I got my thoughts on them. Now, this is a very sturdy setup. When you take it out of the box, the first thing that you notice is the build quality. It is almost entirely made of metal, so built like a tank. Even the hinges are actually very, very stiff, which makes it a very stable setup. So in the box, you get the display itself, which is really, really sturdy. It has a very nice, almost completely metal construction. You also get two USB-C cables with right angles, at least on one of the ends. And um, you also get a charging brick. So in case your computer does not supply enough power via the USB-C port, then you can use an additional cable, which is also right angled. And you can plug that either into an additional port on your computer, or if you still don't have enough power for the displays with the second port, then you can use the charging brick that is included in the box, and then you can power up the display in that way. So if that's the case, you will see the screen flickering, which it would mean that you do require the extra power. So just the charging brick if that happens. I was able to connect it to a docking station with a single cable, and it's working just fine after installing the drivers. More on that later. Now the hinges, like I mentioned, are really, really stiff, which makes this setup really, really sturdy. And they are stiff enough that you can actually set it in a vertical mode, which I actually didn't test because uh, I guess the first caveat that, you, that I should mention about this is that even if you set it in a vertical position, both displays are turned on, but in fact, only one of them is visible. All right, so a small correction. I said that only one display is visible at the same time or at one time, but this is actually not the case. And you can have two displays or both displays visible at the same time, as you can see, except that the second display would be visible to somebody sitting in front of you. So this is very helpful in case you want to share your screen to somebody who's sitting behind your main monitor and you don't have to, you know, turn the display around. So basically you just mirror the display and whatever you see here is also going to be shown on the back on the other display. So like I did mention, the hinges are very strong. So the displays do remain upright. So yeah, you could fold it so that it's on the base and only have one screen visible. But uh, you know, if you want to share your screen to somebody sitting in front of you or behind your main screen, then this is a great option so that you don't have to turn your screen around. Now, another strange caveat that I found with this display is that it does require drivers for you to be able to use it. And this applies to both Windows and Mac OS. Now, I did not test this in a Windows setup because I don't currently have one right now. I do have a company laptop, but that has its own restrictions and policies and I was not able to download the driver on it because it requires an admin password, which I do not have. So I used it on my Mac Studio, and more on that later. And I also used it on a MacBook Air, and that is pretty much the way it is intended to be used with a laptop computer. So that's how it works best. In the back of the um, displays, you have a kickstand, but because the displays are made almost entirely out of metal, and they are heavy enough for you to not really need to use that kickstand unless you really open them really wide and you kind of let them you know fall back a little bit then you might be able to use the kickstand otherwise the weight of the displays itself sets it enough uh, or is heavy enough for it to rest on its own weight and it is very stable very sturdy so i thought that was pretty cool now, like I mentioned, you do need to download drivers to be able to use this display, which again, I found a little bit odd. But um, I thought that the performance was going to take a hit, but I'm glad to know, to let you know that that is not the case. I actually played four, I, well, no, not four, three 4K video streaming from YouTube at the same time. And I put one in the MacBook Air display and one on each of the displays side by side and there was absolutely no lag no issue whatsoever except of course in the instance when the bandwidth was not able to keep up with the three 4k streams which was pretty much not always the case but be that as it may it is nothing related to the displays itself what i really wanted to test with having three 4k videos streaming at the same time was the performance were there any drop fans was there any stuttering and there was none it was actually really fluid 
very very nice animation in both displays so i thought that that was really really cool so very good performance even though these displays require display drivers in mac os and in windows uh, there is one caveat that i should mention in mac os regarding the display drivers and that is that these drivers require uh, due to a limitation on mac os i guess they require you to enable screen recording and when you do that what happens is that if you want to watch a streaming service such as Netflix, HBO, or Prime Video, they do detect that there is a screen recording enabled, and what they do is they just black out the screen or black out the video. So you can hear the audio, you can see the subtitles, but you do not see the video itself. So there's that big caveat. I thought it was really annoying. So if you want to continue watching your movies, your series, or whatever, you do have to quit the display driver. You don't have to uninstall it, you just have to disable it momentarily. So you just right click on the icon and select quit, and then the video immediately pops back up. So I guess these drivers or these displays are meant for productivity anyways, not really for media consumption. So there's that. YouTube again works perfectly, no problems at all. The only issues you have is when there is the DRM involved. So there's that. Now I did mention that I'm using this on my Mac Studio and in fact this is the display that you are looking at here in the in the background and what I did was I zip tied them to a monitor stand it's not the way that it's supposed to be used I just thought it was funny and it's working pretty well for me actually so I have the displays above my main display on my Mac Studio and it's working just fine just with that caveat again if I want to watch Netflix, Max or Prime Video I do have to disable the driver momentarily but it's not a big deal i actually watch most of my media or my streaming services in my apple tv anyway so it's not like i have to do that all the time or often at all so this is a qqh triple monitor display i hope that this video was helpful i hope to see you in the next one and until then may god bless you all